Dear learners, today we are going to discuss on cultural dynamism in international marketing, a pragmatic approach. Look, culture is something which is very much inherent in every place. Every place has their own culture and a businessman has to adapt themselves to the different types of cultures. Like our simple anchor white toothpaste was not successful in Thailand because yellow tooths are sign of wealthy. A sign of proper diet being available to the person but while anchor white means you will have white toothpaste white teeth means you are you will be un improvised you will be malnutrition that's why it was not successful similarly come alive that slogan of Pepsi had failed in Mexico because that sounded something like coming out from grave there are so many incidents that's why I have taken the discussion on the cultural aspects of different places for the international market. Before we go on to the international marketing, there have been different phases of globalization which led to a complete global melting pot in today's world. First, in post-1850, there was colonial dominism in every part of the world, only two or three countries had dominated and everybody was following them. Next, there had been industrial revolution and subsequently in 1929, there had been Great Depression. So again, there has been a complete economic downturn, followed by in the mid 20th century with the two world wars and formation of the international organization and third world countries, because majority of the countries had gained their independence after that. And every country had tried to frame their own policies, own way of functioning in their own pattern and make a way for them. But finally, it came out that the most successful was the integrated capitalist economy which presently we are living. In this case, we have a supranational economic environment and there are different factors affecting this globalization like demographic environment. In demographic environment, we have the population, we have the longevity, we have the living style, we have the literacy. So all these things affect the test and preference of your consumers. Secondly, of course, we are concentrating on the socio-cultural environment, the different social and the cultural aspects of a place, the geographic environment from which you have to decide which type of product you have to sell. You cannot sell a, fro a simple onion in Ladakh. You have to sell them frozen onion. So this is the region. This is the reason for a have a looking a case for the geographic environment, the terrain, the topography, the climate, and everything. Economic environment is of course very much important like the per capita income, the policies, the fiscal and the monetary policies, the trade barriers and every such policies and measures of the government or the economic institutions and the technological environment, how much is, what kind of technology is there, what way you can develop the infrastructure, this is a more important part and political legal environment is Another major turning stone because the recent crisis in Libya is a burning example that every company, every national had to flee from that place. So all these factors affect the external environment of an international marketer. More specifically in today's class, we are discussing on the socio-cultural pattern. In socio-cultural pattern, religion of course plays a very much important role. With due respect to all religion, a simple example I'm quoting, like all the banks in which are functioning in the Middle East, like Standard Charter, HSBC, Amex, whatever. So they have to reform their, reframe their uh, way of functioning. They cannot charge interest for, suppose you're taking a housing loan and paying interest. No, because interest charging is prohibited in Quran. So they rebuy the persons, rebuy the things at a higher price and they make up for the interest. Thus the banks are also being able to function and proper respect to the religion is also there. <coughs> in religion influences are taken in several parameters like status and role, social system, permissible act, specific norms and restricted activities. Status and role system plays an important area who to you have to approach to have a public opinion you cannot build a brand equity in the same day who would be the brand ambassador maybe somebody from the society or somebody from any other celebrity 
the social system what kind of social system the organization is having the place you will have to inculcate your social system into the social system of the organization what type of activities are being permitted by the majority of the practicing religion of that place the specific norms like in china there is a lighting system for different type of occasion you have to adapt to those lighting system if you have to make a business in china and restricted activities has to be obviously adhered to and to respect to attitude values cultures and colors aesthetics are also to be done by the businessman thus culture on the basis of these are classified into various categories starting with the first one that is specific or diffuse culture in specific culture there are separate public and private lives they are not bothered the organization should be only bothered with their on the public life not with the private lives these are practiced in countries like sweden netherlands uk whereas in diffuse culture there is no barrier between public and private life they are totally transparent which are in countries like china nigeria singapore and kuwait second type of cultural combination can be achievement and ascription culture in achievement culture a person is valued more because of his competency what the skill the person is having so competency has an higher seat over the other kind of uh, back uh, other kind of things the person may have these are practiced in countries like us canada uk and netherlands whereas the in ascription culture the competency is not taken a priority the family background or other kinds of connections take a priority over the competency like in countries like egypt argentina czech korea and poland next type of culture can be distinguished in between individualism and communitarism in individualism there is individual priority over the group whereas in communitarism groups is more important than the individual here the decision here the rights in case of individualism is taken by the individual himself but in group consciousness is more there in the communitarism culture communitarism is followed in india and japan has been a pioneer in the communitarism we have already seen in max uh, <coughs> auchi z theory france mexico egypt whereas us is always with the individualism and short term employment kind of criteria canada israel and denmark <coughs> they go with the individualism culture next type of cultural combination can be affective and neutral in affective culture the person is not hesitant to reveal the innermost feeling so they are there is no distinction they are more open more transparent and more easily trustworthy like in japan china hong kong ethiopia and they try to take the thing as they come whereas in the neutral culture there is always a normative aspect that what to reveal what should not be revealed so they tend to control their emotion carefully and maintain composure they are not going to be affected easily with the behavior of the people which are followed in the countries generally like egypt spain russia kuwait and argentina next type of cultural combination depends on the time time is an important thing in business like those who are very much flexible about time we kind of delayed time and more with the maintaining of human relations than meeting schedules are with the time synchronization culture not a time sequence they are more with the building relation not making the exact time so these are in case of france spain and belgium but whereas us is always with the punctuality what time is allotted for what service they take one time in one go and do one kind of activity which is a tangible asset so there is use of time in a linear way <coughs> which are followed in us japan and netherlands next type of cultural combination is inner directed and outer directed culture in inner directed culture people mostly go with what they feel from within what their conscience tells them 
they don't go with the kind of demonstration effect whereas the outer directed culture is more with the demonstration effect they tend to follow their norms and practices as they see others to do uh, they replicate the same these are practice in countries like venezuela china russia kuwait and singapore whereas in a directed in israel norway uk us and france they consider ideas and intuitive approaches are the best way to venture into new opportunities from all these discussions we come down to the business culture which is our area <coughs> while in business culture there are so many things we are going to discuss some of them like what way our organization could function in an international environment if we are to function in different countries depending upon which country we are functioning we have to go with individualism and subordination subordination has to be done because we will be subordinate to the people we are organization for the people they are not for us secondly individualism because we also have to create and capture our individual identity decision making and authority pattern are to be properly delegated properly distributed in the organization thoroughly management objectives have to be clearly defined management by objectives and key areas are to be chalked out before we make a step in attitude and aspirations of the employees of the stakeholders of other people who are associated with the company are to be taken up of course importance to group our power are to be properly tackled with a proper kind of formality in business dealing because some cases the business uh, deal might fail because of uh, informality or delay in the time schedule and of course this pen tempo of business cycle that how much is the time synchronization or time sequence organization is adhering and last but not the least communication dynamics is very much important to have a relationship for a lifetime with your other partners therefore we hit upon some of the best practices which are very much important in international market like there must be honesty and clarity of the offer which are proposed by an international marketer accuracy and consistency of the performance of the quality of the service or of the goods are very much needed there should be a clarity of representation keeping above the linguistic barriers there should not be any disparagement between the statement and the facts whatever is there decency to the cultural norms the specific religious and other kind of specific social attributes whatever is prevailing in that land must be respected there should be disclosure of sponsor and intent in their contents accessibility for the people of that place to reach the business organization and avail that product and service and there should be solicitation with proper guy solicitation and proper handling shipping postage charges whatever kind of charges might be involved in the product must be disclosed at the time of making a deal thus we hit upon the thing which is known as socialized marketing practice in socialized marketing practice we try to build up a lifetime relationship in a different land and offer them value because today's world is a type with a e governance e world the most important area which we will be venturing in international marketing is the online advertising which is more cheaper and more accessible so it is more important there should be ethical online advertising with proper kind of disclosure non uh, information bias to every kind of person who might assess our advertising there should be information security also of the customers who might put their request and also our information security within our organization testimonials and endorsements are to be properly disclosed that who have done what and what extent they are satisfied including referring the source data from where we are referring to these testimonials and endorsements swift takes and price offer should be very clear guarantees special offers claims should be properly mentioned because these are the areas which try to make it immediate your but if these are not true our customer may will may never return we need to build them a lifetime relationship we have to go with a proper kind of these things 
of course we also have to formulate these guidelines for cautions for marketing to children like different countries do not allow some products to be advertised by children or some product to be sold by children those are to be taken care of and advanced consent marketing will also save our effort and energy that we have got the order now we will make the product and which also makes the things tailor made with of by these things we can make a kind of arrangement with a cultural diaspora and have our objective being satisfied in an international environment so that's it thank you